Hey, you guys. It's the motherfucking Liddy Show. Yeah. Did y'all miss me? Look at Granny, y'all. Did y'all miss me? I need these comments bigger. I can barely see them. Did y'all miss me? If y'all miss me, drop some baby bottles. Drop some baby bottles for me. Drop some baby bottles. Drop some baby bottles. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure y'all like the video. I want y'all to go ahead and tell a few people that we live. You feel me? Let them know. Let me do that while I'm right here, too, before I get into it. Before I get into it, because it's a lot to get into. So let me go ahead and let Instagram know, Twitter know, everybody know that I am live. Let's go ahead and do that. Should I open the call line in for y'all tonight? Should I open the call in line? Y'all gonna be good? Y'all gonna be good today? Cause y'all be being mean. Or the mean people just be getting on. All right, boom. All right, doing that right now for IG. Let y'all little troll groups, y'all Facebook groups, y'all Twitter groups, everything. Let them know I'm live right now. Y'all got y'all blunts rolled? Do y'all got y'all blunts rolled? Y'all got y'all cut? Y'all got everything? All right, boom. Come through. Big lady, big lady, if you want this fade, come and get it. Big lady, big lady. Okay, boom. I didn't even copy and paste the link. If you don't know the link to the Liddy Show right now or how to find a Liddy Show, you you are never a Liddy baby. Never a Liddy baby. So I shouldn't even have to post the link. All right. So we up. We up. I'm giving Storm. I'm giving Storm. It's giving Storm. It's giving Storm. Let me look serious into the camera for the edit pages real quick. Let me look serious. Y'all know I'll be funny. But anyways, y'all, welcome to the Liddy Show. Like, oh my gosh, it's been, it's been a hell of a week already, hasn't it? Can y'all agree? Can y'all agree? It's been a hell of a week. Like, it's been, it's been such a time, it's been such a week that my hair turned gray. Like, these little bitches really gave me gray hairs on my sub. They really gave me gray hairs. Like, um, I'm tired of these hoes. I'm sick and tired of these meddling little hoes. Tired of them. They don't respect their elders. They talk back too much. They steal, they lie, they manipulate. They just do too much. And they try to troll a troll. And it never works. It never works. It never works. I'm tired of these little bitches. Sick and tired of these little hoes. 
Like, ugh. 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 So, I'm going to get into the first thing. First thing first. The biggest, you know what? I can't even say she's the biggest little hoe. Because Lady Little Sparkles, I believe she's, yeah, she's of age too. But, Mrs. Lady Glitter Sparkles was, you know, popping her shit or doing whatever she was doing. And I know a lot of you guys were confused about why I even decided to say something. You feel me? Like, just say something, period. But it was because I was tired, like, of just seeing random shit. So that day, I was scrolling down the T pages, la 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 la, and I see um, I see a screenshot messages, like you know, and what attracted me to it was the shit said LID, L I D D Y. Now, if something say your name, of course you're gonna respond to it. It say my name, like, but but what I seen was. What I seen was this bitch basically was telling somebody else she seen me in a club. Okay, if you see me in a club, why you didn't do nothing? That's neither here nor there. But I just need bitches to stop pretending like, like you really got smoke with me because you don't. You only got smoke with me on TV. Let's just leave it there, you know? Don't stalk me in a club that you have to pay to get in. Don't do that. I was an invited guest. I was on the blue carpet. You know? Like, I was supposed to be there. You was a... F I ain't even gonna go there. But you were there. And you was nowhere in my section. You was watching me from afar in the VIP. Leave me alone. My new hashtag, you guys, is leave me alone. So, um... I just want to congratulate the bitch, first of all. You know, the the superstar. I want to congratulate her because <clears throat> I have posted her song or her Spotify, and originally she had five monthly listeners, and I just thought it was a key. But now I'm proud for her because she got 32 monthly listeners. That means you guys listen to me. So... Congratulations, that free promo worked. All 27 people that decided to stream her music, you guys are a doll. And make sure you guys go over to Tilo's page and say who your favorite artist is. You know, go ahead and throw Lolly in there as well, Mrs. Sparkles. Throw her in there because she, you know, what she say on um, season four? Oh, yeah, on season four, she was like, because I'm the rapper now. If you want it, come and get it. Like, girl, get your streams up. Anyways, anyways, did we clock it? Did we clock her streams? Did we clock her update? Yes, we need to clock her update. Just so that you guys see proof that, you know, her streams were reached out. They, re they, they, you know, they went up a little bit. So that means that free promo, it definitely worked. It definitely worked. It definitely worked. You know, I'm all about promoting these ladies. You know? Now, back to the real superstar. Big Liddy. So, you guys, I have a new song that I got dropped a snippet for you guys, and it's called Diane This Liddy. Yeah. So Diane This Liddy is available for pre-order. Right now you can pre-order it on um you can pre-order it on Apple Music, and then you can pre-save it on Spotify as well, and other platforms as well. So just go ahead and type in Donye This Liddy by Liddy Michelle. Yes. And also, you know, Ivory, 
Mrs. Big Back was threatening to sue me. Bitch, you can't sue shit. Ain't nobody selling t-shirts with your bitch face on them. That's not, that's not what's going on. That's not what's going on at all. Nobody selling t-shirts. No. No, that's, that's not what's going on. Music and what you talking about are two different things. I can rap about what I want to. Now, what I did do for you guys, just out of respect, you feel me? And not respect to you hoes, but respect to my brand. Mm -hmm. Just out of respect, I did blur Donye's face out a little bit more, you know, so that she's unrecognizable. But, you know, there we go. So now you have that. Now you have that. There you go. That is, that is a floating random stud with two braids. We do not know who is in that picture with me. We don't know who that is. But the song, you guys, is called Donye This Lady. Why I didn't pull that? Why I didn't pull that? Big back, that's a big coat, big coat. Lady lock on that, I stuck. Yeah. Part two is the motherfucking lady show. Make some noise for the motherfucking lady show. You want to spay? Come get it. I'll go toe to toe. One down, two down, three in a row. Lady lock going viral on your bunk hoes. Yes. Hmm. And don't think you bitches are safe. The whole song is not out. I'm going to just say that. Don't think you bitches is safe. Okay? A stud named Alex. That's exactly who that is in the picture with me. It's a stud named Alice. Alice. Alice is in the picture with me on my cover. That is Alice. Okay? That is Alice. Diane, yeah, this Liddy. Alice right here. That's Alice. Okay? So, yeah, you guys go ahead. Y'all fuck with that. Like, I really need y'all to do them little TikTok dances for me. Like, the little ones that go do, 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 Because I'm about to reshoot the Big Liddy video, and then I'm about to shoot that video. So, yeah, I need the... Like, you know that little shit they be doing? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to dance. You feel me? I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to do it. But, yeah. Yeah. Definitely need that. Okay, so first and foremost, um, I'm going to just get into the fight. I don't think that I lied to y'all. Like, I don't think that I lied to y'all about the fight. I said that she got one round, I got the other round, right? But, like, after further review of me watching the fight, it was like, um... Well, I'm going to show y'all. I'm, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all how I feel. Okay. So, the first round, when me and I... Okay, no. Before the first round, when I went to swing on Ivory first, they hurried up and jumped in the middle of it. I felt like that was weird because from the beginning, y'all wanted us to fight. Y'all didn't even want to hear me talk. But as soon as I run up, things are getting broke up. Why? Like, why y'all do that? Like, you know? Why y'all do that? Why y'all didn't just let it go down? Then, when I went in, Ivory grabbed me first. I went in, I went in with a, with, with like this. Ivory grabbed me first. When she grabbed me, that bitch back is, is strong. So, that bitch got me to the floor. But when she got me to the floor, like, y'all, I didn't feel not a punch. Like, I even looked at it myself and was like, you know, like, but... When you get somebody on the floor like me, like my little hand be trying to hurry up and move when I get them on the ground because I know I got you on the ground. So when she got me on the ground, it was like, I didn't feel no punches. Like really like, I felt her like trying to push me down. Like you feel me like trying to keep me down, but I got up by myself. Security didn't help me up. Security did not help me up. And I'm surprised that security let me be on the ground that long, but when I got her on the ground, they like, like, look at this, y'all. When I got her on the ground, security, they picked me up by my legs. Where the fuck was security at when her big back ass was on top of me, mushing me down in my face? 
Like, this bitch used the table to try to, like, use leverage to keep me down, and, and there was no security, but I got up. I got up on my own, and I take pride in that because that bitch back is big, and I got up. I survived big back. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I survived big back. I got up on my own two feet. Now that TV security did not help me get up, I got up on my own. You feel me? Like... I got up on my own, and I take pride in that. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can say I grabbed whoop whoop, but when the bitch threw me on the ground, I got up on my own two feet. Nobody helped me up. Nobody. Nobody helped me up. I got myself up. Got myself up. So after I get up and we do like this, like, that shit was hard as fuck. I ain't even gonna lie. How that spin went, like, cause it looked like she was about to get me again, but then I reverse spent it. When I had her like this, like I said, them niggas grabbed my feet, like they had me in the air. I really like was trying to like claw my face. So I start biting that bitch, cause bitch, hell no. Like they got my feet. So I feel like somebody got my arm over here. So and this bitch trying to, yeah, I'm about to, hmm, bitch, I'm about to, I'm about to take a bite out of crime. Like, I'm taking a bite out of crime. Fuck all that. I am taking a bite out of crime. Like, girl, get your finger out my mouth. Like, get your finger out my mouth. So, boom. Remember they said that was supposed to be one round. I had to get another round. And I was very calm about it. I, I was thankful she gave me the free promo. Big lady, big lady, if you want this fade, come and get it. Fan behavior. It was cute. I loved it. I loved it. And I was so happy she did that. Like, that was, that was dope as fuck. Like, that really increases the streams. So I was very, very proud that she did that because I forgot to do it. I forgot to say big lady, and I'm big lady, and she remembered. So it was like, yes, I forgot to mark it, but she did it, and I was just so happy that she did it. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ivory, for promoting my song on the receipts. I needed you to do that. That was dope. Dope as fuck. Edit pages finna go crazy. I appreciate you. So, yeah, back into the squabble. Well, the wrestling match. So, boom. Second round, I asked for my nice round very politely, as you guys see. Like, I really was very nice about it. Like, Tilo, Tilo, I need that again. I need another round. I wanted to be as calm as possible so that they wouldn't kick me out, you know? Like, nah, I want to be level-headed, and I, I need that second round. So when we get our second round, I'm looking at this big back bitch. I'm looking at her like, all right, look. I'm about to swing with the right, and I'm going to grab this bitch with the left. That's what I'm about to do. Because this bitch not about to get me to the ground again. Hell nah. I originally was trying to grab her and smush her neck because I wanted that bitch to go to bed because I was mad. So that's why when y'all see, like, I hit her a little bit, but I was really going like this because I was trying to tighten up on her neck because I wanted her to go to sleep. Like, I wasn't Liddy right then when I had her in that Liddy lock. That was the Liddy lock, but I wasn't really Liddy. Like, I was like, I was like a, a superhero or something. Like, like, I needed her to go to sleep. So I was trying to activate something else so that this bitch, this big ass girl can go to sleep because I was, I was, uh-uh. She can't get me to the ground again. Like, she's not even hitting me. She's just mushing me in my face like a fucking Krabby Patty or something. It was getting on my nerves. So I'm like, I'm about to get her. So boom, snatch the bitch up. Got her, got her big ass. So when I got her big ass, as I'm trying to get her, the bitch is like, she kind of like biting at my titty a little bit. So I'm like moving her like, but like, you know, moving her into position because I'm about to slam her. But thank God, the fireplace was on my side because it was right there, like, boom. Like, I could have made s'mores with that bitch if security wouldn't have hurried up and came over there. Like, what did they even do that for? Like, when I was on the ground, y'all didn't do shit. Y'all watched it. 
When I put her on the ground again, when I got on the ground again the second time, because Ivory only got me on the ground one time. I got her on the ground twice. Three times. I got her on the ground three times. I got Ivory on the ground three times. I got Big Back on the ground three times. So when I got her on the ground the second time in the fireplace, security picked us up. Like, they did that when they should have just let me be on the ground with her right there like they let her be on the ground with me. You get what I'm saying? You get me? Like, real shit. Like, real shit. Like, they should have, like, if you, if you screen record the rounds and you screen record how many times... Big Back was on the, had me on the ground, which was once, and how many times I had her on the ground, you'll see that she had me on the ground more longer than what I had her on the ground because security came. But it's cool, though. I ain't complaining. It's cool, though. So, boom, they pick us up. I slam the bitch on the ground again, you feel me? And they cut that angle to Carly Red looking like a ghost. They cut that angle to Carly Red, but right there, I had smushed her up into the fucking shit, and I had her, and then they came and they pulled me. So every time I got big back on the ground, they hurried up and came. That's how I feel. Like, you know? Like, yeah, she did her shit, I did my shit. She got me on the ground, I got her on the ground, but security was definitely on her side in that fight. And that's just what it is. Like, you feel me? Like, no shade. Some of the security guards, I, I like, you know, when we're filming and stuff like that, they have cool energy. Like, this is no shade to y'all. But no, y'all were very biased in how y'all was breaking up that fight. Oh, well. Like, next time I'm going to sock y'all. So, that's just that. Um, now, into the show itself, like, it was different. You feel me? It was agitating as fuck. Um, because earlier I wanted to go to Ivory little pop-up shop she had because I was irritated. I was irritated. Them bitches was taunting me. So I wanted to go to the pop-up shop, but I couldn't. I couldn't because now the city booked my flight for me to go. That's why y'all see me in the airport. That's because my flight was already booked. Like, they had already booked it. I missed the first one, but it wasn't on purpose. But I missed the first one, and then they booked me a second flight. So, actually, they booked me two flights to go to that show. I got two flights booked because I missed the first one. I was tired. I was out partying the night before with a different show, and I was irritated because they wanted, you know, they, they sent me my flight information late at night while I was drunk. So, I started recording myself. Check my TikTok. I posted it on my TikTok, a few of it. I'll post some more later on, later on tonight. Y'all know I'll be up on TikTok late at night. I'll be up on TikTok like early in the morning, like two, three in the morning. But yeah, so I just felt like it was weird. Um, I do appreciate, you know, shout out to Deja. I do appreciate her acknowledging me as, you know, being, you know, one of, you know, one of not as TV stars. I appreciate that. I like that. It made me feel good. What I didn't appreciate about all y'all was how y'all talk about some y'all tired of some shit. How y'all think I feel? Y'all not even fighting. I'm fighting. Y'all tired of the shit? Y'all tired of the shit? My life is revolved all around this shit. No shade to y'all. I don't feel no type of way. But I don't think y'all more tired than me. I don't think so. But I keep pushing every day. I wake up and I smile. I look at my daughter and I be proud of her. You know? I keep pushing. I keep working. You feel me? I keep working towards my dreams and all that. So y'all tired of because y'all wake up and y'all see it in the blogs? This is my life. And I'm sick of the sick shit, you know? I wasn't gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it. Some other sick shit that was getting on my nerves 
was when um, Barbara was in the bathroom and she was talking. I thought that was Donye. That wasn't Donye. That was a member of production. And I know who that was. And I know that voice. And you wrong. Like, you talking about some, yeah, I seen you. You had her down. I'd be like, yeah, I was trying to hold her down. Whoop, 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 whoop. So why y'all didn't let me hold her down? At least make it fair. If you're going to go to the cast member and brag about how they had an advantage of somebody, at least give me the same advantage so I can have my own, my own bragging rights instead of letting me have to watch it on camera how y'all bragging about how this bitch had me on the ground, but when I get her on the ground, I can't keep her on the ground because y'all breaking it up. Like, what type of shit is that? Like, be fair. That's all I'm saying. Be fair. Like, you know, be fair. So, yeah, I'm going to give the fight, and I'm going to still give the fight round one her, round two me. I'm going to still give it to her. Even though I feel like it's a tie, but I'm gonna give her round one and I'm gonna take round two. We're gonna do one and one. Like one and one. One and one. I'm looking at these comments. Oh, so y'all feel the same way? Okay, thank you. I'm not crazy. Thought I was crazy for a second. So I'm gonna open up this call line real quick for y'all. Now y'all could wait. I'm sorry, y'all. Well, first, let me say this. So I don't have to feel like I gotta prove myself. You feel me? Cause bitches said I was a liar. So, so I don't feel like I have to prove myself. It was a few things that I said that when I said people's names, they knew that I wasn't lying because they was there. You feel me? If any of those names that you heard me say that y'all want me to call, let me know. Let me know. Okay? Let me know. Barbie, Butter, Did Carly Red by the Charm? Um, and that is from Jeremiah Smith wants to know if Carly's bought the charm. No. Um, nobody has reached out to me yet, even though she did say she was, but I'm gonna give her some time. Like, you know, she's a busy woman, but no, nobody has replaced the charm. Just move on, Mary J's bitch. Um, been in love with your show. You held it down for your daughter. Call the girls. <laughs> Tilo, they said call Tilo. <laughs> Tilo is not gonna answer my call, y'all. I just feel like he was right. I feel like they was watching over, and I believe this story was true because you did. I like the bully at the sniffing and giggling. Lady, I want to buy your daughter a pendant. So look, you guys, this is what I'm gonna do. A lot of y'all have been like, you know, offering to do things for my daughter, like buy her a charm and stuff like that. And I got pride. You feel me? I got pride issues. So I really don't want to accept, like, when my Instagram went down and I had all type of shit going on, Hell yeah, y'all help the nigga out. But I don't know, y'all. I want Carly to do it. What I am gonna do. What is this? I'll call my daughter. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna leave it alone. I ain't gonna call nobody. I 
I ain't gonna call nobody. They say call Butter and Barbie. Y'all want me to call Butter and Barbie bad? Okay. Let me try to call Butter first. They said, no, your daughter got school tomorrow. It's late. That girl, what kids, what kids y'all know actually go to bed on their bedtime? Let's be serious. Especially a little South Central baby kid. Please. That little girl is up. Okay, so I'm going to open the call line. Whoever calls in, if y'all want me to call somebody or y'all want me to call Barbie and you say it, I'm going to call her. And y'all ask her y'all questions. So the call in line, 213 536 1152. 213 536 1152. Man, y'all been calling since 9 30. That is so dusty. All right, first number calling back. Big lady, big lady. If you want this fade, come and get it. What's the deal? Hey, hey, how you doing, baby? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Blessed, highly favored. Period. What's your name? Bopping with Boots. We had talk when I was staying in South Carolina, like, last week. Okay, period. Period. And where you at now? I'm in Illinois. Okay, you moving around? Yeah, trying to get mobile a little bit. In that part. Keep hustling, baby. Yes, ma'am. So what's the team? I definitely, I definitely wanted to say, it's just, just regarding to the receipts, to show the receipts, okay. um, I just wanted to say that first round, I feel like you was fighting, like, emotionally. You feel what I'm saying? That second round, I think you got mad. That's why you went so hard that second round. You, you, And you did lie about the first round went to her. I mean, it went to her, but that's just because security was helping her. But that first round, it was a, uh, but that second round was definitely you. That's all I had to say. You was fighting emotional the first time, but the second time you got mad and was really going in. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad that whole day. I seen it all on your face when you was talking to Carly. I already, I already knew what time you was on. You just wanted some dialogue. As a Virgo, as a fellow Virgo, I know what you mean by let me get to the point of why I want to bust you across your head before I bust you across your head, and then we can get to that. Yeah, I just wanted to get my point across, you feel me? Because when they called me, they told me that we're going to get down to the bottom of things. Like, I told them straight up. If y'all just, you know, going to try to get me on the show to come and get some money just to fight Ivory, and there's no chain, I'm not coming nowhere. And then when they yeah. explained the show to me, it was, we supposed to get dialogue, we're going to talk, you feel me? And we're going to, you know, figure things out, and there's going to be a chain there, and everything going to be good. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. Like, you know? So, when we sat down, I was confused, because I'm like, why are we not talking? Like, what's going on? Like, y'all said, y'all y'all, y'all gave me a prep talk that we gonna sit and we gonna talk first, and that I needed to talk. You feel me? I didn't come in with the intentions that I had to fight right then and there. I was told we have to talk first, you know? Yeah, they always hollering by dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. She was just on, let me just fight, just to you know, 
hide the fact that I got this baby chain. I didn't probably pawn this charm, or I don't know what a charm is, or whatever the case may be. So let me just fight. So this is what everybody want to see. So let me just go ahead and fight Liddy, Liddy, Big Liddy, just to, you know, just to make it seem like Liddy the wrong one, when really, she really had that baby chain. And then to say, fuck your kid, yeah, that's just... I used to love Ari, but after seeing that, that just kind of just, you know, made me feel a, t- a certain type of way. I mean, at the end of the day, they, they going to they gonna do whatever they feel like the, the views is going to come, you know? That's just, it is what it is. I feel that. Yeah, but it is, it is what it is. And but thank you for calling in, baby. You're welcome, love. I love you, and you stay being mature. Stay being blessed. You are God blessed. You are God touched. And just keep doing your thing. Period. Thank you so much. I love you. Love you too. If you want this fade, come and get it. Hey, my baby. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I agree with him a little bit. But I was mad that whole day, though. No shade. I was like a ticket time bomb. I wanted to tear that bitch up. Cause it's like, why I gotta be here to fight for some shit that don't belong to her? When we could just fight down the street. Like, you know? But they knew I was coming. Everybody know. If you want to say, come and get it. Period on my soul. What's the deal? I love you. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from um, Los Angeles. I, I'm not, I don't live here, but I'm just visiting. I love you. Okay, turn your TV down. Okay, my bad. How old are you? Um, 14. Aw, oh, baby. What? I love you, Liddy. I love you too. It's late. I do, I do, I do want to say this. I do want to say this. Oh, uh, what you show. gotta say? Um, I'm gonna say this. Um, I don't know. We should do the thing. Her name is Jariah. Yeah, Jariah. Your mommy is on these TV shows beating asses for you. She had all these fades lined up for South Central, and now she just went on a receipt. Just for you. I want you to know, stay strong. Keep doing what you got to do in school just to become like your mom. That's all I'm going to say. For real, for real. I just wanted to come on here and say, Liddy, I love you. And you beat her ass. I don't care what nobody say. For second second round, you fucked her up. Had her all on her big ass back. And Diane, this Liddy. Why you didn't come down the stairs? <laughs> Diane, this Liddy. Why you didn't come down the stairs? Oh, my God. Go to bed. I love you. Thank you I so love much. You. I'm, I'm about to go to bed. I got school tomorrow. Okay, baby. You have a good you have a good night. Thank you for calling in. And I'm gonna make sure that I send this message to my daughter personally, okay? Okay. Thank you. Can I get some tissue, please? Oh, that baby made me cry. Y'all, y'all know I'm sensitive as fuck. That baby made me cry, y'all. That was a lot, y'all. I want some candy. That was a lie, y'all. That was a lie. How could I how could, how could I not get emotional? Thank you so much. And my fat ass want to eat some candy while I'm crying. That was a lot. That was a whole lot. <sighs> That was a whole lot. Y'all kids is watching me and it be scaring me sometimes. Because I ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. I never thought I would be a role model for nobody. Not perfect, like, you know? So, I, I, I don't be knowing how to take that sometimes, you feel me? And it just, you know. No shade, that is big back activities, eating candy while you're (laughs) 
Y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> Big, that's big back activities. <laughs> Eating candy while you crying. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> like, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh shit. Take a drink to Big Back. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, like, you know, it be overwhelming, y'all. It be overwhelming, y'all. So, yeah, I ain't no role model, y'all. I'm not. I'm just really being myself. Like, this is me. You feel me? And I'm growing. I'm growing. I'm growing as I go and I'm learning. You know, my baby, she kind of grew up with me. So, you know, right? I love you. I love you. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I watched the receipts with my daughter. And she said, Mama, she got the first round. You got the second. That's exactly what she said. So even my daughter gave her her props. But that lets you know what type of queen I'm raising. She not pressed. She don't care. She don't give a... If my daughter, I ain't even gonna say that. That's cold. I got, I got, I got so much. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. I ain't gonna do it. But yeah, I was about to, I was about to eat the whole generations up. But yeah, raise, raise y'all kids to love. Raise y'all kids to be strong. Raise y'all kids to be humble. You feel me? My daughter, she's amazing. She's amazing. She really is. She's amazing. She's smart. She dance. She plays sports. She spend my money. I love her. They come and get it on my sub. Oh, my soul, come get it. What's the I deal? Ain't with shit. Be, hey, I ain't with shit. She ain't with shit, baby. That was, that was like the class of the Titans. That was, I, I, I was, I was so nervous that Lydia, you did your shit, baby. You did your shit. What y'all you. say? You did your shit, baby. Period. Thank you, thank Period. you, thank you. So thank then I got my best friend over here. We're over here taking shots, watching. I made him watch it. We just watched it, and he was very, he was like, yeah, that was a big tie. But at the same time, y'all had gorgeous. Con- but yes, and he's in love with you too. Ricky's in love with you. You're gorgeous. But, um, Thank you. At the same time, we was dying off of Carly Rae's faces. <laughs> this, you like Didn't that, she look kind of? Wait, hold on, hold on, you guys. You. Where y'all calling from? Uh, this is Charlotte. Charlotte, no, Libby. This is my third time talking to you, baby. Oh Remember shit, I called my bad. you last time on the last show. I was telling you my friend was going on. A what girl was your trip, name? So. Jordan. Oh yeah, your friend was going on a girls trip. Yeah, girl, I got tea for that if we if we got time for that because I got tea for that. Okay, know, yeah, I need the tea. Bit. I got some tea too, so we can exchange tea. tea. It's, it's, it's popping in here tonight, baby. It's popping. It's popping, popping. Yeah, we popping so tonight. Well talk, we should, we might as well talk. You know, get the tea because baby, if I got the tea, let's talk about it. You know, again, girl strip tea coming up. Listen, it's giving Storm. It's giving Marvel. It's giving Queen. It's giving every like I love you, girl. Already. Yes, Ricky is. He, I'm giving him on so that TV. So pretty and so down to earth. Wow, Thank so you. Crazy. Thank yeah, you. Lydia, I just love that that really human moment you just had just now. Like that girl really touched your heart. I'm, yeah, she did. We love you. We love you. We I love knew you it was about me. to be something when she said her age. I just had a feeling she had a message for my baby. I just had that a was feeling. An angel. She was an angel. That was an angel. You yeah, know, you're, you're a chosen one, Liddy. You are a chosen one. You held, baby. You was running the whole episode. You say no, baby. We ain't gonna fight. What? What did the lie detector test? Y'all done made me take a damn lie detector test. Bitch, talk about that. What the hell? I was on that. You reminded the people how to run their own show. What's that big uh, kilo? What his big ass name is? No, he he. No, I know. Y'all can fight first. No, let's talk about the results. This is how you actually run a TV show, like Liddy. You're 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 made for this shit. You're made for this shit. Like I cannot wait for you to. Oh yeah, Ricky really wants to see you on Zeus. Yeah. We want you to and only for the bag. Only for the bag. Only for the bag, girl. You you're 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 Zeus ready. You would be beating up all them girls that everybody loves, honey. Girl. You know, 
I'm going to take any opportunity that God give me. But right. at the end of the day, it's like, I don't know if I want to do another baddie show. Like, yeah, you're, you're, Liddy, no, Liddy, you literally. But for the right price, you wouldn't go. For no, she, she already, she, no yeah, I'm a hustler, baby. She said she's going to take, that's an opportunity. <laughs> this is an opportunity, so she's going to take that. But, yeah, no, Liddy, you're, you're way bigger than this. You're way bigger than this. Like, if I was, like, to hit the, million, uh, the lottery tomorrow, I would probably start an app like this, and you would be, like, my day's rain. Like, you would be, you would be that girl that's just with the Louis, the Gucci, the Chanel, the, Everything. Um, okay, so what's the problem? Did it, that's who you would be on my network. And I like, would eat. Would and I would eat. Oh, baby, I know you would, baby. Cause you be eating already, like, girl. What are you talking to me? Of? What are you talking to me? Of? <laughs> yes, girl. I would eat. But um, okay. Do you want to know the girls' trip team? Okay, what's up? So okay, so I'm gonna tell you who my bitch is. Who went on there? My girl Dior. 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 Shout out to Dior. Dior. Shout out to Dior. Shout out to Dior. Dior. Dior right now. Go follow her right now. What's her Instagram? It's, it's underscore J A D O R. Underscore J A D O R. Follow her on follow Instagram. Her pretty brown, pretty. Mm, she she got, she got a fat so, butt. She has oh her butt is really nice. It's, yeah. She's slim. She's slim thick. She's oh, she's slim thick. thick. Yeah, she okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. And she dark. She yeah. She dark skin. Like she's adding on to the yeah. Because one thing about that TV. It's nothing but bad bitches on there. Yes. Y'all are a parade of bad bitches. I mean, so, hold on. It's some people that slip through the cracks, like Glitter Sparkles. And um, it was some people that slipped. Billy, bitches like that, kind of slid Ugh. through. But, yeah. Anyways. But, so, allegedly. 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 Because we ain't trying to catch no more. Allegedly. My girl got jumped. My girl got jumped. <sighs> And I really, one of the people who dumped her was one of, was one of the girls who fought Ivory. And um, was really bragging about how she beat Ivory up. And, you know, we'll see what happens. But, I mean, from the little clips that came online, it kind of looks like she got the best of her. She couldn't handle her the way you was handling her. But, um, yeah, she got jumped by two girls in the house. And... Why they jump her? She, I didn't ask her all that. Because we're not really friends. We work together. So when I saw her on the... We used to work together. So when I saw her on the flyer or the, the promotion for the show, like, I freaked out. Like, I was literally out of the country and, like, was dying to get back on the Are you reading the so comments? Like, say it again. Are you reading the comments? What are they saying? I don't want to say it. Oh, say it. Say it. It's okay, baby. No, I'm Girl. not saying it. I don't know if that bitch <laughs> will fight. I'm not saying it. Who, my friend? Yeah, I, I'm not saying what they're about to say. Well, you know, I've seen her fight. She's posted, uh, I've seen her fight on videos that she posted, and she can eat. And she told me at the end of the day, because I asked her when the filming ended, she was like, oh, no, filming ended. And she said, you know, things went down, but I, I did my shit. And I know she did her shit. Like, she's she's a bad bitch. Like, if y'all go look at her Instagram page, I don't give what anybody's saying in a comment. Baby, she's very lit, and baby girl gets some money. And mm -hmm. she's pretty. And a lot of girls can't take that. So it is what it is. So, you know. Period. Well, that's girl's trip. I can't wait to watch that show. I can't either. I'm very excited. I'm going to, I think I'm actually going to start reviewing. You messy. I'm going to have to invite you down. Oh, girl, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm going to, girl, go. I'm going to write you because this is the first time you actually gave me like that love. Yeah, baby, I'm going to be in your inbox. Yeah, let's link up because, baby. My people, I got people in Inglewood. Baby, I'd be in South Central. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I, I'd be, I was born in Orange County, but I'm a Charlotte girl. Okay. At the same time, I got that L.A. love. So, yeah, we got to link up, Liddy. Okay, period. No shade. Hit me up. You have a blessed night, All baby. All right. Love you, Liddy. Love and you, too. Again, we love you. And you did your big one, bitch. Thank we you. Thank period. you. Y'all are scandalous. Why are y'all acting up in my comments like that? Why are y'all doing that? How y'all know? Y'all y'all don't know shit. How do y'all know that? Like, where did I never seen that on no T page? No, y'all funny. I never seen that on no T shirt, no T page. Uh uh. Uh-uh. 
Y'all, y'all full of shit. Y'all wrong for that. Like, oh God, oh my soul, y'all wrong for that. So, before I open up the call line, I'm gonna take one more call after this, and then we're gonna end the Liddy show tonight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this bitch a little more clout. You feel me? Because without me, she wouldn't be a star. Um, <coughs> fan nine. Barbie had made a post uh, saying that um, at the airport, like, you feel me, like, me and I had an interaction. Um, we did have an interaction. Um, when I got off my flight, I, Barbie had got off her flight. I called her. I see her and Kenzie. I'm like, oh, bitch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all seen the video where I was uh, recording uh, Barbie and Kenzie in the motherfucking wheelchairs? They was crazy or whatever. So, boom, we laugh and we having a good time. Then here comes Monaya, she walks up. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know? But I'm like, you know what, Liddy? This is a competition. And you gotta play it smart, bitch. So I'm like, um, yeah, like, are you gonna sneak me on this show? Are you gonna hit me? Do you wanna fight? Cause if you do wanna fight, just tell me you wanna fight. You know? You know what? Let me call Barbie. Let me call Barbie so Barbie could tell y'all. Cause Barbie, Barbie gonna tell y'all better than me cause Barbie was right there. Calling Barbie right now, I hope she answer. Uh. Hey Barbie, I'm live on a motherfucking Liddy show and I got a question for you. Uh huh? I'm live on a Liddy show, bitch, and I got a question for you. Hi baby. Hi Barbie. First off, before I ask the questions, congratulations to you, you are one of the first bitches from South Central Baddies to work with a big rapper. You feel me? Female rapper at that, because I work with big rapper too, but female rapper, JT, right, and bitch, you doing Thank your big you. one. Oh, I love you. So I appreciate you. Shout out to JT too, because Barbie's doing her big one. Barbie, one of the oh, hardest no working. Bars. <laughs> no bars, bitch. So, um, Barbie, hmm. can you tell the Liddy Babies and the Mattels, because I know the Mattels are in here too, can you tell them about what happened at the airport? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, so me and Liddy and um, Kenzie, or uh, whatever, well, I was already texting Liddy. Liddy was arriving an hour before me to the airport, so we already had it arranged. She was going to wait for me until me and Kenzie get there. So as y'all see me pull up on Liddy, that's when you posted that video, right? Right. And keep the kids pulling up on you. And then we get off, we hug, woo, woo, woo. And then uh, we see little funny, funny, little like oompa loompa little bitch uh, fly, bear belly. We see the bear belly bitch to the side and she looking stupid. But you know me, I'm not never no fake bitch, woo, woo, woo. Like she just looking at me, you know, like her records. That's so I went over there, I talked to her, woo, woo. Her energy was like, like we could have really left, like if we was, if I was cold hearted, I like I knew Liddy didn't fuck where I came with Liddy. I could have been like, okay, bye, bitch. Like, woo woo. But like, I, oh, you good? Flight nine, woo woo. I was like, ain't no timing like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. Like, girl, you could come over here, girl. We all going to the Greek life anyways. Woo, making her feel good. And she was like sitting there looking stupid, like, like, like wanting to say something bad, like no type of timing. So it was, I was surprised to see her talking like that about you when you was just in her face and you asked her, was it going to be some tea? And she like, no, it was like, she like, no, I'm not here for that or whatever. You was like, cause I got the neck last time. I'm just saying, like you even told her my, the quote uh, from season three when I was like, just ask me for the fade and woo. You even told her that, like if we gonna fight over here. Cause you know, last time we fought, and uh, over nothing. You was just fighting for camera time, so we don't fight on this show. Let me know. You ain't got to sneak me, bitch. I'm going to keep, like, you know, we can fight. She like, oh, I'm not even on no timing like that. I got bigger fish I want to fry. Woo, 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 woo. So for you to go and pop it, I was just confused as fuck. No shade. Exactly. And that's what I was so confused about because she said she had bigger fish to fry, but I only seen her you know we know what happened on greek life we know who yeah, so when the bitch said bigger fish to fight i'm trying to see did she want that to happen between you know when they said woo, 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 was that a plan because she said she had bigger fish to fight we all heard it you me and so i'm like was she already planning to 
fight my homegirl. And, and you Barbie, know. we ain't gonna say too much. Yeah, Three no, million. Bro, God, we ain't gonna tea. say too much. I'ma call it's you tea. later, Barbie. It's, it's tea, tea because we just clocked it. We just clocked it. But that's but that's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Who was the bigger fish? Who was the bigger fish? Where did you fly, bitch? Like, girl, Greek like me to drop. Like, bitch, like, I got so much to say, girl, it's ridiculous. But, Snitty, I'm gonna let you get back to your show. Fuck that beer belly. Uh, uh, not with it. Bitch, you're, you're, you don't fall in, bitch. You fall out. You need to fall out, bitch. You need to fall out. Fuck you talking about, bitch. Yeah, I can't wait till reunion coming. No. No, yeah. you not, Barbie. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Barbie is extras, but the moral of that is, y'all almost burped. So the moral of that is, when um I was at the airport, like I said, I checked her temperature, like you feel me, because you know, like bitch, you're not about to sneak me. But she told me she had bigger fish to fry, and I was wondering who her bigger fish was to fry. But when Greek life came and we was in the house, I seen exactly who she was talking about. No shade. These bitches is fake as fuck. But that concludes the Liddy Show. You guys have a blessed... Oh, wait, hold on. It don't conclude it. I have one more thing for y'all. It don't conclude it. So this is the last thing I have to say. When I was talking to Carly, you guys, a lot of people keep asking, like, oh, did she replace this? Did she replace that? No, she didn't. But my message at the end... My message at the end of the show, you feel me? I meant that from the bottom of my heart. I promise I did. Like, you feel me? Like, I really wish that us being role models or superstars, reality TV stars, or whatever it is, I just feel like we should try to set the tone and stop bringing up each other's children. Like, you know? Like, I really think that that should be, like, you know, that should be, like, forbidden. Because you wouldn't go on TV and tell somebody, like, like, you know how Saucy Santana, how he told DJ Academics, like, I'm going to beat you up, put your dance down, and fuck you? Like, remember when Saucy told him that? Like, Saucy was, was about to cry. But I ain't never heard nobody on reality TV tell somebody, oh, I'm going to get you and I'm going to fuck you. It's forbidden. So why be saying you fuck somebody kids? Or why be talking about people's dead relatives? Like, why do that? I feel like dead ones and kids should just be off limits. I really feel like the whole family should be off limits unless they come for you, you know? So if you're looking into reality TV or you already a reality TV star or you're on in the entertainment industry or you just, you feel me, you just about to have a camera in your face. Be you, be wild, be free, but keep my motherfucking kids out your mouth. And that concludes the Liddy Show. Y'all have a blessed night. Make sure y'all go ahead and pre-order that song, Daye This Liddy. It officially drops on Monday. See y'all later. Is we out?